How's it going my friends? Today's adventure involves going inside my YouTube channel. We're not getting out there today. We're going deep in there. And this is something that I haven't paid attention to until recently. The analytics behind my channel and videos and engagement and watch time and revenue and all that interesting stuff. You know, I've just been a, a creator for most of my life and I focus on making the videos. But as a YouTuber, you have to do everything. You have to make the videos, but you also have to promote them and market them and know which audience to target and all that stuff. So I'm getting better at it and I'm gonna go over some of the more interesting you know, lines in my analytics and we'll see if you think it's interesting too. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the juicy stuff. How much money am I making on YouTube? And I will start out by saying that I'm not making nearly as much as that little kid. His channel is called Ryan's World. He does toy unboxing videos. I think he grossed like $20 million or something last year. Good for that dude. That's pretty impressive. I would love to make that kind of money someday. I'm a little bit more realistic, probably not gonna get there, but hey, I'm, I'm moving in the right direction. When I first started doing YouTube, when I first monetized my channel three years ago, I was making like $7 a month, $8 a month, $16 a month off those Google ads you see that pop up before video starts. Now, with my channel growing, I'm actually making some fairly decent money. And here we go. So this is just for 2019. You know, last December, I made $1,200. November 900 for the past year it's been about between 700 and 11 to 1200 dollars a month and it completely depends on if I have any videos that go big if I make four videos a month and they don't get many views I don't make much money you really have to keep creating content on YouTube to make money if I completely stopped making videos for a few months my earnings would just skyrocket down so that's why you see creators constantly putting out content. It's all about watch time and minutes and getting those audiences to interact. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm, I'm psyched with this number. You know, I think for the whole year, I made about $11,000 just off of the YouTube ads. And that's not including Patreon and some of my other branded content deals. On Patreon, I make about $650 a month, which is great. And I think it's only gonna grow as my channel grows, hopefully, we'll see. And you know, the branded content deals happen every now and then with Priority Bikes or Bosch or you know, companies like that. And like I said before, like I only do branded deals with equipment that I actually personally use myself. I'll never be selling you stuff for the sake of making money. That is not my goal. My goal has always been to tell stories that I think bring value to the world. This is a pretty cool slide. This is my top earning videos of 2019. And these are all the videos that were pretty long. Like I said before, watch time really has a big uh, role in how much money you make. And also I get to choose when ads pop up on the videos. Do I want them just at the beginning? Do I want them to pop up throughout the video? And right now I have video, I have ads popping up throughout the video just to see if I can make a little bit more money. I know it's kind of annoying for the viewer, but you can just skip those ads. I don't care. But anyway, so the top video was the Discovery Channel video where I talked about surviving in the jungles of Venezuela. That one made $503.24. Uh, the next video is the one about my breakup with Allie. That one made $494. So our breakup was fairly profitable. <laughs> uh, the next one is the Courtney DeWalter video. It's another long one, a Running with Ryan video, $476. And the last two are not, video, not videos from this year, but just have hung on in popularity. The Trek Checkpoint review video and a Lukla Nepal video about a dangerous airport in the Himalayas. And to go along with that last bit of information, it makes sense that the top earning videos also have the most views. So here in 2019, actually the most viewed video was a video I made like in 2015. 237,000 views this year. Then the, the breakup video has 198,000 views and the Discovery Channel video has 179,000 views. And for me, that's a big deal. Most of my videos get between 15 to 20 to 25,000 views. If I'm just going on a bike tour, let's say the Boulder to Ragbri videos, 
those all have about 15 ish thousand views each video and those are probably coming from my core subscribers they don't really reach out beyond my subscribers these videos that go big are being watched by people that have no idea who i am and they just get these videos suggested to them and the goal is that more of this happens in the future because that's how you gain your subscribers when these videos go somewhat viral this is a pretty cool stat right here and more than anything it just puts a smile on my face it doesn't really mean all that much but my total watch time for 2019 was 23 million eight hundred ninety thousand five hundred and ninety two minutes of my videos were watched by people all over the world and my total views on all the videos together and remember I looks like I have 751 videos on my YouTube channel 3,755,344 views on all of my videos and that's exciting because back in the day if you made a film or a TV show the only way to get these types of numbers were to get it broadcasted or to have it in theaters that was the only way somebody would ever see your stuff with these amount of numbers but now with youtube and everything else the whole world is wide open and i absolutely love it i love being able to share these stories with a huge audience okay let's talk about subscribers and to me this is the most important stat really i always am looking to build my channel to get more subscribers to reach new audiences so this past year 2019 I gained 30,578 subscribers, which is awesome. But at the same time, I lost 5,644 subscribers. So I netted 24,934. That's great numbers. That's my biggest year ever, and I'm really excited about it. The number that I'm worried about is that I lost almost 6,000 subscribers. And uh, I don't know... If that's a big number, I've never compared myself with other channels of my size, but I have a theory about it. Because my channel isn't just running, it isn't just biking, you never really know what you're gonna get when you come to my channel. A lot of people like subscribing to channels where they're just straight running channels or biking channels or carpentry or whatever it is, and they know every time when they go to that channel, they're gonna get a video that they want to see. You might be a bike lover and not like my running videos at all. Hence, you're like, okay, I'm sick of this running stuff, unsubscribe. So that's one of my theories for why I've lost so many subscribers. But I'm not gonna change the way I do things. I'm not gonna be just a bike only channel or a running only channel. I love being able to tell a variety of stories. <laughs> Sometimes you're gonna get a video about me crying about an ex-girlfriend. Sometimes you're gonna get a video about me taking my mom on a beautiful cruise on the Danube River at Christmas time. And, but most of the time you're gonna get adventure videos of you know, the beauty of the great outdoors and riding bikes and running. Another number that is really important to me is view duration. How long are people watching your videos? Let's say you have a video with a million views, which sounds really cool, that's a big number. But if people are only watching 10 seconds of that video, that's not helping you out very much. My goal is to get people to come to my channel and watch my videos all the way through from front to end and then hopefully click on more videos. The idea, like I said, watch time is really important to the YouTube algorithm. So it looks like I have an average view duration of six minutes and 21 seconds, which is actually, it's pretty good. A lot of my videos are 10 minutes to 15 minutes long. So if people are watching about half of the video on average, that's not bad. Now let's look at a few videos in specific along those lines of view duration. The Discovery Channel video, average view duration is 12 minutes and 45 seconds for an average of 42% of the entire video being watched. That video is about 30 minutes long, so that's not bad. The next one is the Courtney DeWalter video that has nine minutes and 59 seconds. 36% of that video is being watched. And then the next one, what to pack for a long distance bike tour. Six minutes of that video is being watched for an average of 40%. Audience engagement is really important. In this year alone, I have 104,903 likes and only 2,341 dislikes. That's a pretty good number. Usually my like percentage is usually 98 to 99%. And I'm pretty proud of that number that people 
like my videos. To go along with the likes and dislikes are comments. And I really try to respond to almost every single comment out there on my channel. I feel it's important. It's an important part of building up the community. I want you to know out there that if you ask me a question, that I will actually respond to that question. So I spend a ton of time going through each video and responding to comments. Even if there are a thousand comments, I will do it. And the video with the most comments this year was the one about my breakup with Allie. That one has 1,072 comments. And they were mostly very heartfelt and sweet and telling me to keep my chin up and I appreciate all of you. Uh, the next video was the Discovery Channel one that has 713 comments. And the next video, which is awesome, was the one about me giving the Trek 920 to Luke. That video has 416 comments comments. So keep the comments coming, my friends. You know that there is a real person behind this channel and he will probably respond to you. Now of all the statistics and analytics that I would like to change, this might be the top statistic right here, the gender breakdown. And it's always baffled me. I have 79.9% .9 of my channel being watched by men, only 20% by women. I would like to make it about half and half. I'm not exactly sure why those numbers are skewed like that. I'm guessing because mountain biking and biking seems to be more heavily a male sport, maybe, I don't know. It doesn't seem right because I know plenty of women that love those sports and they love running. Running is definitely like in real life, apart from YouTube, is a very mixed uh, sport for sure, men and women. An interesting aside to this, which might skew these numbers, is I get a lot of comments from people saying, oh, I love watching your videos with my wife or my girlfriend. So maybe the guy is logged into YouTube with his channel and there's a woman watching it, but they don't count that woman because it's not her login that's actually viewing my videos. I don't know. I touched on this earlier, the reach of YouTube and how much I love it and how the entire world can just be part of all this fun. This is a breakdown of all the top countries who watch my videos. And obviously it makes sense, the United States is number one with, uh, let's see, one, almost two million of my total views last year were from the United States. And then we go to the United Kingdom, then Canada, Germany, Australia, India, Netherlands, Sweden, France, Mexico. And obviously all my videos are in English. I have not translated them yet, so it makes sense that a lot of the English-speaking countries are at the top. And then Western Europe, where they have, you know, education levels are very high. A lot of people speak English as a second or a third language. And uh, maybe I'll try to work on this in the future where I can do some sort of translation. I would love my videos to at least be in Spanish. I know that I sometimes speak Spanish in my videos, but the entire video is not in Spanish. So maybe I'll do that this year, make one video that's completely in Spanish for my people in Mexico who are way down here at the bottom. Although 31,000 views this year from Mexico, that makes me pretty happy. I love that country. Age. How old are the people who are watching my videos? And this is pretty much in line with what I thought it would always be. The biggest one here is 25 to 34 years old for a grand total of 28.5%. The next biggest is 18 to 24 years old for 23.1%. Um, my mom's age group, 55 to 64 is 8.2%. So thanks mom for telling all of your friends to watch my videos. Obviously the smallest one is 13 to 17 years old. Youngins aren't really watching my videos, which is unfortunate because I think a huge, huge portion of the YouTube audience are young people. When I go to schools and do presentations about my adventures and stuff at like elementary schools, kids go crazy when they hear that I'm a YouTuber. All kids are doing these days are watching YouTube. So maybe I need to make another channel more like Mr. Rogers Neighborhood where I take kids on adventures or something and see if I can boost those numbers. I have lots of ideas. We'll see if they ever come to fruition. So there you have it. Those are the analytics or at least the analytics that I thought that you would find most interesting. You can go way, way deep if you want to, but then that just makes my brain want to explode. So I focus on the ones that really mean a lot like subscribers, watch time, and engagement. And I really appreciate it. I've said it so many times. I appreciate all of you for watching my videos and engaging. And the whole goal with this channel is to inspire you to get off your couch and go out there and challenge yourself to do new things. So although I'm not making a ton of money 
The goal really is working because I, because I get emails every day from people saying, hey, I watched your videos and inspired me to ride or to run or I lost 20 pounds and I'm interacting with the world in a way that I never did before. And those are the emotional paychecks I get. That's what makes this whole thing worth it. Of course, I do need to make a living. I need to pay my rent and buy burritos and all that stuff. So I need to be building up my channel so that I can make more income. Obviously, I left behind the TV world about three years ago to do YouTube full time. And I still have to take some outside jobs to fill in the holes. I don't make enough money. I mean, $11,000 a year, you know, isn't enough money to, uh, to live in Boulder, Colorado, let's just say. Uh, we will see you down the road. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell some women. We need to get those numbers up. And uh, yeah, let's go have a good 2020. What do you say?